as we said earlier the typical model that is based for the larger good is known as ex ante and the free market economy or the free market business model is known as the ex post model we are going to look at these models in detail first of all the ex ante pricing regulation this particular model is what the government enforces to begin with it means it is more closed or government mandated system in which the pricing is initially decided by the government the government takes a more cautious and careful approach to make sure that any likely downside or the negative aspect of a certain technology both in terms of overbilling to the user and any other socio economic aspect of a technology does not negatively affect the overall growth for that the government has the essential control since ex ante is towards the larger good and benefit to the society so the government is not much concerned about the individual interests of the service providers and the telecom providers it means the service providers and telecom providers actually need to do a lot of effort to make sure that their business viability is there the government while implementing ex ante regulation essentially carries out certain steps for example the government to make sure that all the provinces all the districts all the geographical areas are provided with some decent level of broadband connectivity as part of the millennium development goals the government makes sure that the technology is not concentrated in certain urban environments for that the government actually enforces stricter control in not allowing the investors both the telecom and serv service providers to stay only in city areas and then the government also makes sure that it is the government agency that ensures a certain level of product differentiation for different segments of the society now such stricter control makes sense when the government is willing to give certain kind of subsidy to different service providers who are willing to invest in a certain country against the stricter control that they would be receiving from the government now ex ante regulation is very good when the government is is very serious in providing coverage to the overall uh, country or a region um, and is not pushed about what the individual company is going to benefit like however the ex ante regulations are not long term eventually the government actually has to give way to the ex post regulation as the name implies ex post means after the deployment what it means is after the government deploys a certain allows the technology to be deployed in a certain area the government has to make sure that certain long term benefits can be reaped out of such deployment it means now the focus of the government is not in terms of uh, the penetration and permeation of technology rather the government is more interested in making sure that there is no uh, um anti competitive environment in which the monopolization and monopsony can be uh, can ever take place it means the government would come up with some anti trust regulation and consumer protection acts through which the government uh, makes it a point that no user is deprived of certain services to which it has to be provisioned with so the government now is now allowing a free kind of business business model to take place in such free kind of interaction the business is likely to thrive more however whenever the government realizes that there is a violation of a certain user um term or certain inter business conflict arises then the government always reserves the right to incur penalties and uh, uh, levy fee and even 
proscribe or ban a certain service provider from providing services to an area or may even be rolled back entirely. So now both ex ante, that is what the government or the people want and ex post, I mean what the market actually drives or determines are the two models that are essentially the broader way of how the rules and regulations are applied across telecom sector.